Yo, welcome to another episode of the Intellectuals. What? I'm Poseidon. Uh, Pantel's producing. We got Guido the Grass Grasso. Hey, 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 and Poseidon. of course, today we have a special guest, radio, Montreal radio legend, the man himself, Ted Bird. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Everyone's wearing headphones. Do I have yes. to wear them? You, no, you, you don't have to. I spend a lot of time on to. my hair. It's like, you know how... <laughs> it's salon selective. You know how people with Down syndrome have to wear helmets? Yeah, yeah. Same concept, okay. but with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of hair, did, he, did you get a makeover? Look yeah. At, look at how fucking good this guy looks. Er, yeah. He's today, got a good yeah. haircut. He's The beard suits him very well. You, you look like a million bucks, man. I appreciate it. You really do, yeah. yeah. No, no, I'm all shy. You know what's crazy? Um, uh, I'm pretty sure he got dressed up just for you. Yeah. Well, I, because I, every other episode, he I've looks homeless. I've been a slacker. Yeah. He looks homeless. I, <laughs> I figure it's the, uh, it's, the, it's the most wonderful time of the year. So, you know, a little self-respect. You got a little dressed up. You, yeah. know, you want to look good. I went, I went for the dude the hair thing over there. It was it nice. Good. Yeah. If I'm going to disrespect myself, it won't be on Christmas. <laughs> Um, what's your favorite Christmas song, Ted? I like um, <laughs> The Grinch by the Small Town Titans. It's a rock and roll band from Pennsylvania, and they do a rock and roll version of You Oughta Mean One, Mr. Mr. Grinch. Grinch. Oh. Now, that's off the beaten track. Traditionally, I like um, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Mm. Because it's, it's about... Uh, <laughs> yeah, my what sound. the fuck? I mean, yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, the, he pulled that yeah, interesting. Yeah, so so <laughs> did, did you? Yeah. Here we are, as in olden days, happy golden days of your faithful friends who are dear to us, gather near to us once more. It captures the spirit of Christmas, and there are a couple of versions I really like. One is by Diana Krall, mm. who's uh, <laughs> boy, what a voice, what a voice. Do you remember Time Life? Music order now. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. Um, yeah, you'd I'm, order one album and then you'd, uh, they'd send you a contract where you had to buy like another th- right. eight thousand. Yeah, it was kind <laughs> of like a Columbia House, like but a fucking million dollars. Those commercials are were so uh, played so often. Yeah, I remember the uh, uh, a time like you wouldn't even know what that is, right? Nope. What's your favorite uh, Christmas song? I don't have. I actually dislike Christmas music because I worked in malls for four years out of oh, my life. Yeah. And it was on fucking repeat until my ears bled. That Mariah Carey so, song? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Especially that one. Oh, fuck. So it brings, um, it's like PTSD. Do you think he's memories. mad? The kids he molested while dressed as Santa are even more pissed. <laughs> Apparently, every Christmas season, Mariah Carey just goes down to the mailbox and, and gets royalty checks. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, One after the next. I Good th- for her, by the way. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Smoke them if you got them, I always say. I think for a while there, the um, uh, the number one selling album of all time was uh, White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Like, it, it was like, I think the only thing that beat it was Michael Jackson Thriller. Uh, no shit, really? Eh? Yeah, yeah. As uh, most yeah. sold album in the world somewhere, it's it's online. Somewhere. People love Christmas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's. Uh, I love Christmas. Who doesn't? I mean, the Muslims. Oh. <laughs> I don't I'll think you. Jesus liked it because it fell on his birthday. So his birthday always got overlooked. That's why he liked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he always if it's on his birthday he gets he doesn't get twice yeah, the he gifts. He only gets one gift. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. 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 Uh, I know it's like fucking yeah. bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mind you, on his first birthday he got gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So oh. that was a pretty good haul. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 From the three wise guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. hey where's, where's this guy, Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come in here. We, we can't go empty handed. Why don't you bring something? There? What are you going to bring? That's what it was, for real. Yeah. Three wise guys. Hey, uh, three wise guys. Jesus here. I like that. <laughs> His father was a carpenter. Yeah, it's a lot of that. No, no, yeah, I used to. I used his father worked with wood. That's Joseph's kid, there, bro. No, it's you not Joseph's see, uh, kid, bro. Jim Gaffigan's bit on uh, Jesus as a carpenter. No, no, but I, I, I enjoy uh, Jim. Yeah, he talks about how, uh, how annoying Jesus must have been. You know, he's walking around. <laughs> if you hire him as a carpenter, right, and he's walking around going, "I'm the son of God." <laughs> yeah, right now you're. <laughs> Right now you're building a shed, <laughs> so, so hop to it, Jesus. Oh, 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 that's funny. Yeah. That's a good one. I like Isn't that one. Great. <laughs> Fuck. He, and uh, clean comedy too, Jim. Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like I should do more corporates. I should start going clean. Fuck it. Yeah. Secure the bag, boy. Stop yelling, please. Yeah. Why okay. are you screaming? Poseidon's been a little hyper today. I've been a good hyper day? today in general. Yeah. I've had to do clean my whole career on the radio, and then I 
got involved with you guys, and now it's and just now it's, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm probably going to lose my job. You know, no, no. at some point the program director is going to go online and see some of the stuff I'm doing on the morning show with you and George. <laughs> That's, oh man, man we got to get rid of this a, guy. I recommend okay, him. out of all the dumb shit that was said, which one do you think? Ah, fuck, I don't want to put it out in the universe. Which one do you think it would be the one that would do it? Uh, it that was the, the weird, the, the worst. The weird. Possibly the CBC. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Poseidon asked us what CBC stood for. And we said Canadian Broadcast Corporation. And he said, no, no, I think it stands for cock, big cock. <laughs> but that's Poseidon. He'd get fired. Yeah. 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 But I mean, then I ran with it. I'm going, you're listening to cock, big yeah. cock. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I love. But you actually made it clean. Um, I did. Uh, well, I yeah, well, the way, did the, the, cock, the, big cock. The, the way you spoke about it, I don't know, it was very professional. When, oh God, when did this that? is what you're dealing with. This is yeah. the next yeah, generation. Yeah, you know is the I'm liking it. I'm, I'm, yeah. I want to go out in a blaze of glory. I'm I'm good with going down in flames as long as we're laughing. Yeah, yeah, and we laugh a lot on the on the yeah. morning show. So I'm yeah, uh, yeah. I'm on board. Down in flames. I got a uh, I got a, um, a list of how much it would cost to start running ads on regular radio. Mm-hmm. It's pathetic. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Poseidon could afford to run ads. Of no way. I'm just gonna Poseidon do it. every week. I'm going to do it. You should. Run an ad. I'm going to. <laughs> we're going to talk after. I'm going to do it. Absurd. Terrestrial radio. I got a line of credit Bro, with a lot of money on it. Yeah, you don't, need, you don't need a line of credit. You need, you, need a, you need your tips for a weekend <laughs> working as a waiter. <laughs> it's absurd, dude. No I, way. I literally feel like buying ads that say, so didn't that show just suck? I sure. got some for <laughs> Are you talking about on mainstream? Like, yeah, yeah, terrestrial uh, radio. Yeah, yeah. like, no. like, like, like shown. Like, yeah, 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 and it's not. It's uh, it's affordable. <laughs> yeah, really, eh? It's under two hundred bucks. Wow. No. Like for for what? For a thirty second spot? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but if you you know if you end up uh, you know you got you got to buy more than one commercial. Yeah, yeah. buy a couple. Of, uh, get a nice two week run going. Dude. Oh, remember nine four eight forty four forty four. That's you. <laughs> on the, uh, the Buffalo Bills commercial. Yeah. Oh, the yeah? Buffalo, uh, <laughs> yeah. 94844. But you'd have to spend like a good 10 grand for a campaign, no, though, wouldn't 10, you? Why would you spend 10 grand on a know. radio campaign? No one's listening. You just do it for the joke. You just spend a little bit. If you're going to spend 10 or 10, 20 grand, you go for billboards and shit like that yeah, yeah, yeah. for a month. And do I'm going to spend 10 grand to, to reach out to four people. Do, do billboards work? Uh, yes. Really? I would say yes. Like uh, Sugar Sammy's not all over the city there. Uh, yeah. Sugar Sammy's don't work the way you think they work. Sugar Sammy yeah. knows what he's doing. Yeah. He, he doesn't want them to work on the people who see it and go buy tickets because he's he has a mailing list. His fans are going to get tickets. He wants you to take a photo, post it online, and then that gets traction. And the people who hate him or aren't too sure about him because of all the social media posts, oh, fuck, this guy has a billboard. They buy tickets. He's very smart about his strategy. Mm. Well, he knows his stuff. Yeah, uh, he's a good businessman, eh? Yeah. Yeah, smart guy. Uh, uh, started off as a nightclub promoter for uh, 737 back yeah. in the day. Then he, the, the nightclub at the top Plasma of Plasma Marie. 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 Yeah. yeah. Speaking shit. of billboards, there is a billboard on the 520 heading to the airport. Somebody spent money and just put a Ukrainian flag. I saw that, yeah. Probably the Ukraine. Doubt. Did you, see that, did you see that video of the guy in the... It was like a Ukrainian government thing in a village. And he threw fucking live grenades and shit. Oh, yeah, in the, in, like the village council meeting. The village council wow. meeting. The guy just walks in, blocks the entrance, and he's like, you know, motherfucker, you know, what the fuck? And he took no, out he didn't. grenades. No, he didn't say anything. No, he was talking, I, though, no? No, they were talking. And he was uh, looking at them, and then he <laughs> said, can I have your attention? And they turned around, and he threw grenades at them. Jesus. Yeah, he just threw grenades on the floor. They, he blew himself up. People and everyone are, uh, people are sick. Yeah, I'll show it. I'll show, yeah. I'll show it to my friend Ted. If she thought you were bad, at least you've never gone. Well, no, I, I'm still live grenades. Crazy. You, said, you said billboard. I thought he was going to say something about Bill Burr. Grab some grenades. Let's head down to city council. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! This Warning: is This video contains Ukrainians. Oh, I don't want to be distressed. I don't want to be distressed. Yeah. Oh, this is a uh, this is okay, a better well, angle. Or clear. Is that is him the, standing there? Yeah, yeah. Oh so they're God. talking. He just popped up a grenade. He goes, by the way, these are alive. And he pops the pin and hits a lady in the face with the pin. It's look, Jesus so fuck. funny. He hits her oh in the face with the pin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And she's, over, she, she's overselling the pin, hitting her in the face, though. There's an actual grenade, bitch. Move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't show the explosion in this Maybe one. It goes, uh, did I'll anybody die? So that's on a uh, 26 people injured. Six yeah. are uh, in grave condition. Hold these? On. Fuck. That's oh, insane. yeah. This one has it, I think. Yeah, this is this is it. Jesus, Murphy. God. Oh my Damn. God. Yeah. That's, That's why they're wrong. losing the war, man. They're very bad at war. 
Do they know it's Christmas time at all? Wow. Wow. Oh, that's we gotta clip that. <laughs> yeah, I, I that's see why I missed in the war. I missed Fuck. Oh by the way, uh, just so It's not we, wrong. Just so we can fight against government propaganda. You know that they're getting decimated, right? Despite what the TV is telling you? The government. No, Ukraine. Ukraine, Ukraine oh, yeah. is getting yeah, destroyed. Our, our money's wasted. They've lost, I think, half a million people. Four hundred. That's why they're picking up people in the street to force them to go into. The, they don't have all their fighting age people are getting killed. It's amazing half how much million? stuff we yeah, don't dude, know. Russia's just, dude, it's Wait. Russia. Yeah. All the people Russia lost were their front line people. The people that they don't like, the undesirables that they sent in first. Wow. So people like me. Yeah. <laughs> first line of defense. People with flat him. feet. Yeah, yeah, you're good for the military. Come. <laughs> it's so crazy what's going on down there. They, they, and we're, we're running with this fake narrative here of like, we're winning the war and run. It's crazy. And this is not even for real stuff. This is all for oil and all for gas. That's why, that's why they destroyed the Nord Stream pipeline. This is all to cripple Russia. It has nothing to do with anything else. They're, they're saying that Russia wants to take over Europe. Which is not—it's crazy. It's not true. But Russia, all did all Russia did was turn to the east for well, they are in the east, but No, but like they turned to. Yeah, no, Russia doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, the Russians. You ever seen uh, uh, Putin's house? No. He he. Nice he, shack. It it's it's uh, it emulates the Vatican. Like really, he he did, and yeah, it's uh, it's. Um, un, uh, you can't describe it. It's uh, it's on an island. He has its own island. Um, have you ever seen, um, you know, the, the the opera singer Andrea Bocelli? Yep. Have you ever seen his house? No, and neither has he. There you go. Hey, look what uh -huh. I just tried Do to you? say. Was that the joke? Ted Bird. I just tried to t <laughs> tell Ted Bird that fucking joke that's so old. It was... I've written. never heard it before. You just, well, it's an old joke. Yeah. Do you guys think we could have seen this war coming? Like somebody could have predicted it? Ukraine like, and Russia? Yeah. yeah. Like a movie yeah. of sorts? Very much. Very much. Poutine House. Oh, <laughs> I got uh, it. Genius. Genius name for a place, by the way. Vladimir uh, Poutine. What would you put in there? Anything you want. Vodka. Yeah. Yeah. Vodka. Tears. Kvass. That doesn't look like... You, do the, you mix the gravy. You mix vodka Putin's into the gravy. Oh, You're smaller uh, than that. Two restaurants in Montreal uh, got the uh, best... Uh, best in the... Two Montreal restaurants were ranked among the best in the world. <laughs> Uh, what do you think For, they are? Um, wait, among uh, the best in the world? Mm -hmm. That's impressive. Among among the best in the world. Among the best in the world. Yeah, let's right. run some guesses on this bad boy. Uh, I, you know what? I can't even. I have to sign up to give you that answer. So uh, forget. Oh, it. that's <laughs> gay. I hate websites <laughs> I like hate that. When they do that, I'm so sorry. Guys. I, I will say something now that we're, we're we can talk about it. Uh, Ted Bird, I've been going around. I want to find if Montreal has. A good pizza restaurant because what uh -huh. i've noticed is we have a lot of these uh greasy italians mm. but not a single good pizza joint there's it's a place subjective. in Jerval called non solo pane not just bread yeah it's a trattoria it's a young italian couple that run it they have a uh, they just bought a new wood-fired stove mm. they spent like sixteen thousand dollars on this mm -hmm. thing and they make the best pizza for my money mm. In the city, crispy, it's crispy. So, yeah. What's it called? Yeah, non solo pane. Non like non solo. Not pane. just bread. Yeah, non solo yeah. pane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I gotta go check them out because I recently uh, did an experiment. I spent a hundred dollars to mm. get. Remember this? A few pizzas mm. from uh, what's called Je uh, Gemma. Or yeah, whatever. in in Little Italy. Garbage. <laughs> I, really? I, eh? I literally requested. Um, <laughs> I, I even told them, crispy. You know, cook it on the on the bottom. It's crispy. They gave it to me. Essentially, what it had, it was not crispy. It flopped everywhere. The ring around was black, so they tried to basically they overheated the crust under, but not the actual full crust, just the ring around the edges. It, it, it was the opposite of what I asked them to do. I was so upset, and I tipped them too. And I went for pickup, and I still tipped them. I get how, the pizzas. It cost uh, ninety six, I think, total. Now, how do they manage that? Though? As they that, really fucked it up. So I was like, okay, people don't know when people talk about, oh, this is good pizza. It's because they've never had actual good pizza. Mm. As a resident pizza man here, uh, I can give you two answers to that. And you're you're right. A lot of people don't use certain things. Um, there's a, uh, a ventilator uh, uh, thing that you add to pizza boxes that I've only seen in the States uh, at Joe's for delivery. It's very much like these uh, foamy things behind me, but made uh, of cardboard. And if you put that at the bottom of your pizza box and you put the, somehow the steam doesn't 
It helps. It helps it stay crispy uh, for delivery. And no, no, but two, you understand. It was people, never... This pizza, no, I, know, I, I got know. it quickly. Right. The pizza was never, never crispy. Never done. Yeah. He didn't he even was, listen to a word He didn't even listen yeah, or they correct. tried and they don't know how correct. to make a, how to cook it right. properly. Under. And It was th- folding. It was uh, wet. It wasn't good. Uh, um, a thing pizza makers seem to take for granted as well is the um, uh, temperature. They take that for granted. They, they always figured blast it. If you blast it hot, no. the, if you lower it a little more, you can make it crispier and leave it in the oven longer. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I do. I mean, I know I what, wanna, what I wanna, yeah. I, I really want to try, Ted. You, yeah. you get it, yeah. You get, uh, you'll have to come out to Dorval, or I'll yeah. get some and I'll bring it here. But Sounds I would really great. like to hear your opinion, because A, yeah. you're Italian, and B, you're a yeah, restaurateur. A yeah. We're going to make yeah. it an outing. I'm, we're going to go, we're going to bring the yeah. camera, and yeah. we're going to judge. There's, I'm down. There's their, I'm and, down. And there's their pizza menu. They got like fucking 12 or 15 different that's kinds of pizza. That's a good price, just for the margarita. And the price is great. Yeah, The price points there are really good. You know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna do an outing. These next are the week. prices I had down. like in 2016. Yep. Perfect. These are really good. Yeah. Nobody charges that. Yeah. And Nobody I, charges. And I'm, and I'm telling you, it's really, really good pizza. Really good pizza. Speaking of Italians, uh, a cardinal at the Vatican uh, was charged with embezzlement. Oh, that's new. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Normally they're embezzling their dicks and kids' asses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> do, do you, uh, uh, why am I never ready? I, that I, that I usually have the story <laughs> ready to go, and now I'm, same thing, I'm always doing. Just Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. Um, this is the Radio Ted <laughs> for years. Ted. Usually Poseidon talks about his uh, uh, bowel movements as well. Yeah. Uh, you know what he said uh, the other day when uh, <laughs> George was wearing the... Uh, the 24 frames per second half, the 24 uh, <laughs> FPS, FPS yeah. and yeah. besides says, what's that stand for? 24 fags per second? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 20. George. Uh, but you know what? I felt I felt good that, that uh, like, we said that and there were no consequences. I feel yeah. like this, the pendulum is swinging back. Well, he probably yeah. really uh, bruised his ego a little no, bit. No, the, the pendulum is starting to, because they took it too far, the yeah. politically correct people. The pendulum is starting to mm. swing from what I see towards I see uh, that. where it always should have been is context and intent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just like sin it, like just like how a joke should be a joke no matter what. Like yeah. if you're telling a joke, no matter what the word is, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna pay real life consequences over a fake thing. It's just like a movie, an actor, uh Edward Norton murdering a black man uh, pretending he's a Nazi he's not going to go to jail for it because it's the- it's not yeah. real yeah it's a movie thank you and I agree because I feel like I should be allowed to say the n-word out loud without any consequences as long as I don't call anyone the n-word well here's the thing you have no, you will a- and uh, they're very upset <laughs> uh, basically this is the they're plot they're at the door as a matter of fact uh, yeah <laughs> yeah they're, well, cel- they're <laughs> celebrating your demise upstairs right now. Poor Guido. They're Guido's celebrating your demise. He wants to talk no, about no, here. no. I, I'm, I'm, this, uh, <laughs> look, you know what I usually do, Ted? Is I watch the show later and I'm like, oh, I missed that. Yeah, oh, what yeah, am yeah. I? Just because I, I started some. So yeah, he was sentenced to five and a half years in prison. Uh, it's basically Who's this? Uh, 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 Cardinal? Cardinal Angelo right. Betu. Um, I bet you he didn't see that one. Yeah, coming. exactly. It's base. It's the. It's the. It's the. Godfather 3 uh, plot. Trial focused on the Vatican uh, Secretariat State's $350 million euro uh, in, in luxury apartments. Was it $350 million or euros? A euro, euro. It's, euro. It's, 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 uh, it's uh, Godfather 3. I'll tell you why. God, did you see Godfather 3? No, because Godfather 2 put me the fuck to sleep. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it is um, a slow movie, but it's actually one of the few, I, I believe, uh, uh, sequels that are better than the original. I'm sure it was, but I was yeah. like 14 years old. So oh, I guess. Yeah. But, um, oh, I needed action. I anyway, needed, part three. Uh, I needed the, the guys to get whacked. It's I'm really good. You. It's that. Don't, don't, don't. Be discouraged. It's a wonderful Poseidon, movie. Poseidon is always online looking for guys getting whacked off. Uh, <laughs> whack on, whack off. Uh, <laughs> the yeah, the well, Mr. Miyagi of the game. I was going to say <laughs> that. Uh, hey, they're bringing that movie He's back. Like, whack on? on, come on. <laughs> Arnold from Happy Days. That's Mr. Miyagi. Arnold from Happy Days. Uh, Pat Morita. Okay, now who's who was Arnold on Happy Days? Pat Morita. Yeah, oh, yeah, he yeah, was but, the, you know. Uh, the, the Oriental guy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like that you say so Oriental. Long ago, though, so like. does anyone? I thought isn't Oriental like a Canadian old school way of saying yeah, Asian? Yeah. Oh, is it? It used yeah. to be the polite way to say Asian before. Okay. And but then, to me, it sounds like a rug. It is. Yeah. A rug. When you say Oriental, Oriental mm. I, it, it can sounds, I can I tell a story? Of of course. Course. And it, can I say the N word, or will we get in trouble? We won't get because in trouble, but I would context. suggest. 
context. You, you don't say it. I, and okay. You tell us when it's going to happen just because there's always someone who's willing to take yeah, your yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just want to, I just want to make a point about how times have changed. When I was a kid, mm. evolution, like evolve, the rules change. Sometimes Tastes. the rules are stupid too. The Chinese uh, Asian depreneur. Can I have a book of matches? Ten cents. Shit. Remember that? No matches. What? No, de- they charge ten cents for matches in. Ten Asian cents depreneur. for matches. Yeah, book I, matches. I remember paying a penny for matches. To yes. this day. Yeah, to they- this day. As for matches in an, in a in a depreneur, they'll say ten cents. Okay. Yeah, probably. I mean, that's what they tell me. They charge for it. Don't, 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 doesn't everyone get them for free now? No, because I didn't gas stations don't matches. have I matches. everybody had a lighter now. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie Match from Pembroke, Ontario. You remember the matchbook with like the uh, JFK stamp on it? No, you don't remember any of this? I, I might Almost went blind because it. of matches. They're impossible to buy now. I was trying to get them for the restaurant. I had the old wooden matches. I think we got a power outage uh, at my old place when I lived with my, my mom. I was like 15. And it was the wooden ones. And I guess that gotten kind of soggy or whatever. And I was trying to light it and it wasn't lighting. And I did it really hard. And as I did it, it lit up, but it broke off. And it went flying right into Ooh. my left Oof. eye. And the, the I got lucky because as soon as I went in, it was not It was just the, the tip. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it went out right away. So it only burned the protective layer over my eye. And I had to, be, uh, I had to go to the hospital and everything. The vet. Remember when uh, <laughs> Yosemite Sam would uh, walk away with the hole in the gunpowder bag that he's holding and, <laughs> yeah. and he makes a trail? Yeah. That's what I thought of when he said light yeah, a match. Bugs Bunny would light a match, put it in the, yeah, <laughs> follow him, blow him up. Varmin! Oh, but, man. So, Ted, right now, are they um, the current radio company that you work for? Are they cool? Yeah, th- yeah, they are actually. They, um, I'm not even sure they know that I work for them. So I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, sometimes yeah. that's the best. Yeah, it's the way I like to go. That. Yeah, they, well, they leave me alone. They leave me alone. Yeah. They trust me to do my job. And they le- the only time I ever hear from them is if somebody complains about something I said on social media. Really on yeah. social? So stuff uh, you say elsewhere? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing that I've said. I've never got any complaints at that. Radio station from being on the, air, I've on, said the air. on the air. Wow! But I've um, I told um, Luba, you know the singer Luba. Yeah, Luba. Yeah, I, I don't know who that is. Yeah, um, she um, she's Montrealer. She's mm, she had some, some hits back in the eighties. Mm. Yeah, and uh, when when the girl from uh, Mississauga won the U.S. Open tennis championship in twenty nineteen, what was her name? Um, why am I blanking on her name? I should know her name. Anyway, she's I believe she's of Romanian descent. Mm-hmm. And uh, they showed her parents in the in the crowd, and they looked like Boris and Natasha from the <laughs> from, from, cartoons. From, uh, oh, yeah. And I said that on on uh, yeah. I like I, I, I tweeted a picture. I tweeted a picture of them, and I said, "Hey, yeah. uh, her parents are yeah. Boris and Natasha from the Bowwinkle cartoons." Good joke. And yeah, and so Luba comes after me on, on Luba. Luba, yeah. This is- <laughs> what happened to you? And I said, "Nothing happened to me. Take the stick out of your ass." Yeah, and you- then she complained. She, oh. she sent a complaint to the company. Your morning man told me to take a stick oh. out of my ass. Did they laugh? But, no, they didn't laugh. I got a fucking letter. I got a warning Tattle. letter. It's, How is that a warning? That has nothing to do with damn. anything. And that's a personal thing between you and uh, the loofah. Yeah, I have a it's question. like is, saying is, is Fred and Wilma. If you could have, you could have, you could have used any reference. Luba Bianca sounds, Andrescu. Uh, that's the tennis oh. player's name. Bianca Andrescu. Well, Luba sounds like a fat lady's name. Well. That's why she couldn't take the stick out of her ass. Yeah, yes. I think it's the stick. I think it's that. I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Oh, correct, Poseidon. Good. Hey! Um, yeah. Somebody else said that to me on Twitter recently. What happened to you? I forget what... I think that I was saying... Uh, you know, I said, like... I, I don't even remember what it was, but it was nothing outrageous. It, I banged your mom, and it was downhill from there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if only they listened to what comes out of this guy's mouth yeah. sometimes. No, yeah. but it's, it's just... It, yeah. What I find uh, disgusting, the, the behavior that I find disgusting is a, a person that I know is a public figure, has a job. Mm. He disagrees with me on something. Therefore, I need to make sure he doesn't have a job. That's, that is that's so crazy. That's abhorrently yeah. disgusting. It's psychopathic. It's psychopathic. It's it is. very that's psychopathic. Exactly it it's is. 100% yeah. psychopathic. Yeah. Um, and uh, I have never been to a restaurant and asked the waiter, the man said, I want to know your political beliefs, what kind of musicians you mm, like, yeah. anything you disagree with, I'm going the manager, you fucking prick. That's crazy to me. Yeah, yeah. Billy Bush laughed at a joke nervously and got fired for it years later. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the Trump thing? Yeah. yeah. Grabbed yeah. by, yeah. grab by the pussy? What, what, yeah. uh, what, you know? He got fired for that? He got fired. Yeah, he got fired, fired for reacting to yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got blacklisted, yeah, too. Yeah, it's 10 years, 10 years later, too. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. 10 years brutal. later? 
Yeah, yeah right. So, so he yeah. laughed at a at a Trump joke or something. When like, Trump said, uh, "You know, the thing is about when you have money, he goes, you can do whatever you want. Like you have enough money and you're popular enough, you could go up to these chicks that come up to you, grab them by the pussy, and nobody cares. Like they're all in for it. And here's the thing: what they should have focused on was because, by the way, Trump was correct, a hundred percent. And we should have focused on the fact that the cult of 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 um, of uh, a celebrity. Is so powerful that he's fucking right. If you have enough money, you mm. do shit. Nobody fucking bats an eye. That's the real thing that we should have focused mm. on. Mm. Instead, we're like he said, grab by the pussy like a locker room. Mm. But shouldn't you look at the fact that he is correct? All these celebrities get away with all this shit. Look at Epstein's client list. Like we should have looked at that instead. But they 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 got mad at Billy Bush because he laughed. Billy Bush got fired for laughing at the I joke. And Trump, who made the joke, got elected president. Isn't yeah, that, that's the world. Yeah. 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 That's well, crazy. And he's yeah. going to get elected again unless I think they so fucking too. hose him out of it. How old will he be? Uh, he's in his 70s now. He's but, in his mid-70s, I think. I think. I think he's going to win b- more because Biden is... Dude, Biden doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He's just saying nonsense. Trillion, million, billion. Yeah, 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 what yeah, did he, he say he recently? He, is half the time. he said something. I think it was sent in the group chat. What oh, I'm the one who sent it. When he, when he was looking at that lady, he's like, I remember you. We had good times together. Well, I, I was 30 and she was 12. Uh, she remembers. <laughs> and the lady's like, what? Dude. <laughs> Is there any front runners or anything? I haven't been paying attention. So there are, uh, for the Republicans, Nikki Haley tried to make a run for it, but she's like a warmongering psychopath. Oh, so shit. She's going to lose a lot of people that want to stay out of conflicts. The only, DeSantis had a lead in the beginning. But then when he got caught wearing heels and... What? Uh, J. Yeah. Edgar Hoover over he here. He wore heels? No, He's no, no, no not like, women's shoes. Not but women's just shoes. Like, oh, lifts. Lifts. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, Al Pacino but shoes. What's wrong with that? He won't I admit wear to lifts. It. He won't admit to it. That's, oh, that's the problem. Dumb. So like, we could see that you're wearing ah. lifts. Like, no, I'm not. These are legitimate boots. So he looks like an idiot. So like, we can have a leader that's, that wears lifts. Yeah. Uh, the only one that stands a chance right now, a little bit of a chance, just because at least he says the truth. Vivek. Vivek. Yeah. Yeah. What's the name? It's Vivek Swami. <laughs> Something Ramzawami. Ramzawami. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very okay. cool dude. Making sense. Yeah. The way it would okay. be a hundred percent a win is if Trump says that you're my VP. That's that's what the talk Holy is. Holy shit, brother, done. Yeah. But, really? but you have an orange guy and a brown guy yeah. telling everyone what's up. Yeah, yeah, you're done. <laughs> what's the status of Trump's court cases though? Because the point of those court cases I think they were thrown out. A lot of people think the point of those court cases, it's what are they what do they call it? They call it um, well, it's, uh, the the, it's the lawfare, lawfare. Yeah, they're yeah, calling yeah. it. Yeah. They're, they're that's to how they're trying. That's how they're trying to get him uh, out of the race. Yeah. Is, is is by getting him convicted of a crime because they're they know afraid he's he'll win. win. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, they yeah, exactly. know he's going to win. Did you yeah. see well, what when they I was tried in the states? I saw a lot no. of Trump uh, signs everywhere. No, no, they, 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 they do. Didn't, yeah, they not only do they love him, but something very. I like. I was looking at that shit about the the election. I had sent you the video. Yes, I remember. Very suspicious. The last one. Yeah. Like well, I just remember going to bed thinking, okay, he's going to win again. And then I woke up the next morning. It was like, what? So <laughs> it, it, basically he won if you count the votes of people who went in. And then the second they got the mail-in stuff, which was we know there was a lot of fraud, it was like over all the mail-in ballots were like over what, 99% for Biden. And it didn't make, it was very, very fucking strange. So let's give him that. Let's say at least because everybody cheats. I'm sure they cheat every election. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Democrats got away with that. The thing that's going to get Trump elected now is that the country's w- went to shit. Yeah. So people are oh, like, hold on time. a second. The the border's not protected. Mm. Uh, we're not making any money. You're tack- You're starting five other wars. We don't want to fight people. You're bombing everyone. Uh, get the fuck out of here. That's what that's what's going to make him. And he's kind of the opposite of a warmonger. He's more of a peacemaker. He didn't start any wars. He's like a deal maker. He didn't yeah. start any wars. Yeah. Well, like I know he's a blowhard and everything like that. But he's and obsessed he's with got being an liked, abrasive. So he yeah, doesn't want to start a war. He's a narcissist and an yeah. abrasive personality. But I think he was a pretty effective president during his term. He was. The truth is, he was. The yeah. He, is he, he, was. he worked in Manhattan skyscraper business with a lot of you know organized crime people and and were they were like made deals and. All that kind. Of, what I'm trying to say is, it's not easy yeah. to build skyscrapers and did, deal with teamsters and cement. Did you and, see what they try to get him on? What the, the dumbest thing? They go, he inflated the value of his properties. Yeah, his properties, like this property should be worth two million. He was telling everyone, no, this is three and a half million. It's like who gives a fuck? Everybody does that shit. Especially if you're selling your property, you're selling a car, dude. I was looking at houses on Realtor here, north of Laval. Mm. I was like, it's a beautiful house. They were trying to sell it, and somebody bought it for one point two million dollars. The evaluation was five. Jesus, how the, they're doing with uh, half did. a million, basically? Yeah, but you're doubling it. Yeah, I mean that's isn't that business? I saw that's something. Business. I saw something that was really funny on the internet, and it basically went through all the presidents. 
that uh, all their net worths skyrocketed uh, pr- uh, after they were president. Except like, for him. <laughs> except for him. His went down from $3.7 billion Interesting. to $2.5 billion. And then I saw people in the comments, because he wasn't a billionaire. Nah, 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 nah. It's not true that he's a billionaire. So in my head, I'm like, hold on. It's interesting that when you guys try to get him on, he doesn't pay taxes. Yeah. He's a billionaire. But his net worth goes down, and all of a sudden he's not a billionaire. He wasn't. A, he was never a billionaire. It was never his money. Do you you get what I'm going with this? No, repeat that. When, it, yeah. So I think you're too dumb to comment on this, but I want to hear. <laughs> no, no, no. So <laughs> <laughs> you know how they they are trying to get him, like he doesn't pay taxes and he's a billionaire. Yeah. Now, that when they showed that that his net worth went down, he's still in the billions, like for, down from yeah, yeah. three point seven to two point five. People were commenting, he's not a real billionaire. They're trying to diminish it. They're trying to diminish yeah. it. Oh, let him diminish it. But, but um, I find that interesting that at first you were saying he's a billionaire because he evades taxes or whatever and he doesn't pay taxes. But now, you understand what I mean? Yeah, when he, they go, he's a failure. They, they, yeah. Because they don't, that's what Cenk Uger does. But the, the thing about Trump is I was glad that he, when he was honest, because that's how I felt when he was saying the stuff he said, when he was debating Hillary and he goes... Of course, I don't avoid like I don't I remember really illegal paying taxes. I remember that. I take every loophole possible, as every American sure, should. He yeah. goes and doing nothing. You do it too. Your friends do it too. He goes. What are we talking about here? I didn't do anything illegal. <coughs> if you tell me you have the option, uh, take option A to, uh, and pay four percent, or take this and take seven. Why the fuck would I take the seven? I'm gonna take the one that you pay the least. He goes. Yeah. What are you talking? I'm smart. I'm not stupid. And I was like, fuck. At least he's honest. Yeah. Did you end up watching that Obama produced movie? I saw it. Yeah. And. Yeah, it's it, it is predictive programming. Okay, you heard thank of you. No, and uh, but w- was uh, it good? Did you find it good? So there was some good stuff in it. There was some good acting in it. Th- there was some good concepts in it. Uh, but it's a hundred percent predictive. A hundred percent. So, so uh, Obama okay. so uh, pr- produced a movie uh, for uh, Netflix that's uh, with that, Ethan uh, Hawke, Julia Roberts, Kevin Bacon, and it's, it's uh, yeah, it's called uh, Leave This World Behind. It's essentially kind of like an end of the like an end of the world type of movie where America. You don't know what's happening. It's based on a book. The, the book is pretty cool. I was checking out the details of it. So essentially, um, they're at a chalet outside of New York, and they find out that while they're there, their internet gets cut. New York, we don't know what happened, but we can't get into contact with the main... We can't get into contact with anyone in Manhattan. You lose power. The internet was attacked. They think it was a cyber attack. They found some pamphlets, and the pamphlets wrote in Arabic, Death to America. So then they thought, oh, shit, the Iranians are attacking us. But down the west coast of the U.S. was reported was that pamphlets that came down were written in Korean and mm-hmm. other Asian languages. Like, no, the Koreans are attacking. And then, they're like, no, maybe it's a civil war. And then the guy who's playing um, like a, a character, Marshal Ali, very good actor, mm. he's talking about how he has a friend in the government. He goes, fuck, they talked to me about this. This is what we do to other countries. It's the cheapest way to take down a country. You spread a lot of misinformation. You make them confused about who they're fighting. It doesn't take long at all. They start fighting each other. And then it's a coup d'etat. They overthrow the government. Uh, and then the end of the movie, the way it goes is you see that Manhattan was smoke. They were getting bombed. Like they were actually getting bombed. And you're not sure, is it a foreign attacker or is it domestic? So uh, so this came out. It was on Netflix. It was a pretty good movie, but it's clearly... And there was one line in it that was unnecessary that I was like, Jesus Christ, bro, why are you race baiting? There was a moment in bed when he's there with his daughter. The world's going to end. And she says to him, she goes, uh, look, if it's the end of the world, you know that you can't trust anybody, especially not white people. Oh, yeah, So I don't help these white people. Don't trust white. It's like, that's the message you want to give. It's the end of the world. It should be like, we got to stick together. We got to figure this out. We don't know who's attacking us. Yeah, so you're like, yeah. But what I liked is he shut it down, the yeah, father. Yeah, yeah. And so the father's like, what are you fucking talking about? So that's why I thought it was race baiting as well. But then when they... It's just weird to put that because the line did not do anything for the story. So there was no reason to have that in there. It's a way. And, maybe and they it should have been a humanity should save humanity exactly. message instead. Is like what American movies used to be. Yeah. yeah. Used to but, be America. Fuck yeah. But also, now it's, maybe that's why they put it is for the father to shut it down. To be like, nah, it's unreasonable. But he didn't really shut it down. He pushed it out a bit. He's like, he did? Ah, well, nah. He's, he was too nice to her. Yeah. But all this to say, there's another movie than a trailer came out. Civil War. I saw that. I saw that trailer last it's night. It's all predictive. Oh. It's all predictive programming. They're pushing so hard. So people, people are on, uh, online are right because when I saw this, I was like, I was like, is it really? And then I watched it and I thought the same thing. I'm like, maybe I'm kind of crazy. And you watch and you're saying it now, so it's like confirmed. No, they're doing it, and this is the stuff they've been pushing since Trump first got elected. Civil War. Yeah. Fuck your neighbor. Is your neighbor black? He's bad. Is your neighbor white? He's bad. Mm-hmm. Is your neighbor this? They're trying to make people fight because America went through a good couple of years. 
where they were united, where it was America again, the beacon of, of hope and liberty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the powers that be, I guess, didn't like that shit. And they're it, trying to divide that country. Dude, if America falls, we're all fucked. I know, I know. Did you see some people took a still from the movie and it's the, the I think the guy, the son, he's wearing the Obey shirt. And then the daughter is wearing the NASA shirt. And then people took a still and they're like, this is what Obama is trying to tell you. And it just says, obey NASA. That's funny. And people were like, yeah. That's so funny. Would, would you say this movie could possibly predict, predict the, the future? future? Absolutely. No, no, but it, it's not that it's predicting. What the, uh, Predictive programming, what they do is they throw stuff out in the zeitgeist. Mm -hmm. So it stays in your head. Mm -hmm. So that then, because we do a lot of life imitating art, whether mm -hmm. we like it or not. Mm -hmm. You see stuff, you get influenced by it. Since centuries. And it makes it real to you. So mm -hmm. you, you're able to go the extra mile. We've been doing it for forever. It, that's what Hollywood's been doing. Um, so preparing. So they're preparing people to be like, oh yeah, this is normal. Of course we should yeah. separate and... One state should fight another state, but yeah. this should be abhorrent. It's eerie. Mm. If it, if the yeah, and I agree with you that mm. if the U.S. falls, we're all fucked. Oh man, we Dude, are beyond. Trudeau fucked. is still pushing. C11 went through. Now they're discussing the details. They're gonna. Th this podcast in two years might not exist based mm. on those rules. That's what's crazy. But they're shutting down free speech. Dude, if America falls too, there's nothing. Europe's already gone. Yeah, Europe was long gone yeah, yeah, for a while anything, now. Yeah. yeah, you can't say shit. The UK, the UK. I got somebody from the UK today, as you the say, uk. the UK. I got that from him. Yeah, the UK. The UK. He told me it's like it's it's in, it's insane. You can't say shit, yeah. and it's a guy that moved from here to there. The best is you. They don't. The a lot of UK people that aren't aware of what's happening, like in the states or Canada, they think it's normal. Same thing with Australia. One Australian guy got really pissed at me one time because someone got arrested in Australia for a joke or something. Like, yeah, I forgot what the fuck it was. I was like, what is this? This is so stupid. And he got into a fight with me on Twitter. Like, you know what the fuck you're talking about? You shouldn't be allowed to say. Like, they don't see because they're in the prison. Yeah. They don't see how cr how wacky it is. And this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, like, that's yeah, that's fucking why I'm, hell. America is so important to the world. You don't understand, dude. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, this could go either way. I know. Um, crazy. So let's. Would uh, you say other movies have predicted the future? Uh, yeah. I'll I'm, ask Ted what he thinks. Yeah. I don't know. I only watch war movies about the past. <laughs> yeah. Well, the war keeps coming back. No. Yeah, everything I uh, everything I watch already happened. I like history. This week's... I like history, too. This week's top five and a half future predicting movies. Okay. I like the way you wrote that. Wow. Oh, you. you. didn't even need my babysitting to write oh. this. <laughs> sorry. Um, that was such a dick thing no, to say. No, I'm sorry. No, no, I hope no, your sorry. whole list is serious this time. It's, uh, hey, we can go in so many directions. Number five. What's the deal with homosexuals? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what... <laughs> Number five. Contagion, the film. <laughs> so, now this one is extra interesting is because when it first came out, I think it came out in 2011, it wasn't popular and it got pretty bad ratings. Reviews. Reviews. And it predicted. Uh, well, let me get to that. It became extra popular during the real pandemic. And in the movie Contagion, it happens exactly like in real life. The whole, you remember the whole narrative? It was a pig or a bat soup and shit like that. Yeah, it was a bat. It, it was, was a bat a, and then, or a pangolin. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. then in the movie, in the beginning, you actually see it was a bat that bit a pig, and then the pig was slaughtered for soup, and then a lady from the U.S. ate it while she was in China, oh, came so back, infected everyone. E Which e we e found e out was the false story that they it, played it for us. It was the false story, eerily, but in the, be in the wow. beginning, okay. when we didn't know what the fuck was going on. They were feeding us this horse They shit. were feeding us this on Netflix. Yeah. It became really popular, and, I, and I'm not going to lie, it freaked me the fuck out, too. Yeah, me too. It scared the shit out of me. And, uh, Is I, that Gwyneth? Yeah, yeah. And there's our buddy room. Matt. One of yeah. your ear lobes. The one that, that likes to put coffee up her ass. Um, and that's the Titanic, Winslet, right? Yeah, and I thought I, I was I, like, when this came out, I was like, oh my god, the predict the, the predictive programming, whatever you said, they've been planning this, or they predict this movie predicted the future, or whatever the fuck. And it was a lot. It was very close to real life. She dies in the movie. Uh, spoiler oh, alert. you fucking ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. even those things look yes, like what we yes, saw. Okay, exactly. that, I got it. I got so it. So that's why this movie yeah. is on this list. Because, because, and especially when they blasted it to us, it was during this uncertain time. Mm. And it was like, oh my God. Spooky. Yeah, yeah. you remember yeah. the fake videos that they don't even talk about anymore? The news was showing us people in the beginning convulsing? with people convulsing and dying in the streets oh, in China? Those don't exist no more. You can't find those. Nope. 
But really? I saw them. I saw them. I saw them when it was happening. You can't find them at all. And They've they been disappeared. wiped off. I tried. I can't find the, so the ones strange. that I had seen. And then uh, they just say, "Oh, that never happened." But I heard. I heard no, Jamie Kennedy and Eddie Bravo talking about it on a podcast too. They go, "What happened? Do you remember those videos?" Like, of course I remember those. They were on the fucking news. And the news like, "Oh, we don't know what happened to those." We don't know what Bullshit. happened to those videos, Sometimes guys. Nice just to be a Forget hermit. people were convulsing yeah. hermit in China. life. You know, just yeah. live there. There. Numero cuatro. Uh oh. All right, we saw. I mean, we know this one. Number four, Back to the Future, part two. Okay, we... we, we um... Don't tell me if Michael J. Fox dies in this one, okay? Because I haven't seen this either. You that fucking, movie's all shaky, Cam. Another uh, one? I'm going to let you know, at the end of Pearl Harbor, the Arizona sinks, okay? So fucking take that. And at the, did you know Jesus gets crucified in... Uh... Oh. <laughs> in The Last Temptation um, of Christ? Yeah. That was a good movie. Um... So yeah, it but predicted. But he comes back. Oh, really? No way. Yeah. This time he's In the back. sequel, Terminator. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. A Terminator. I'll be back. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger as uh, Jesus. Jesus, like what? a Terminator crossover, would be hilarious. I think Mad TV did it. No, the only, honestly, the a movie that would make a lot of money is a historically and racially accurate Jesus film. Explain. Look, everyone, Jesus, Jesus was not black. That we know is bullshit. Oh, yeah. But also, Jesus was a Jew. He may have had a He didn't a look man. like a, like they make him look like a Greekster with the hair and the beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't look like a surfer. He looked like he, Larry David, bro. He, yeah, he had a If you want to have a real Jesus, <laughs> it has to be like Larry David. <laughs> Larry. And when he's on the cross, the music has. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. You're welcome, That's Hollywood. Funny. What? Yeah. It's got to be played by Larry David. Yeah. Pretend, and he's walking around and he's like, Mary Magdalene. Yeah, you have a huge vagina. That's the problem. <laughs> all the miracles are all are all like uh, misunderstandings, misunderstandings, yeah. and like common sense stuff. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. guy he like had glasses and he didn't know how to use them and he just put them on or some shit. I can see. Of course you can see. I put them on. I'm wearing glasses. That's what they do. This guy's uh, Lazarus. Lazarus, get up. What are you doing? <laughs> Hey, walking on water. Yeah, it's just uh, what's he his face? The, the guy that betrayed him, Judas. Judas. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Like he gets yeah, he gets mad. For a couple of shekels, dude. Yeah. pieces of silver? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's not even gold. That's what I'm worth to you. Yeah, this is going to be a bad stereotype for us in the future. You can't be a money guy. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Ah, shit. Oh, okay. man. You're going to appreciate this one. I appreciate them all. Number three, idiocracy. This is 100%. Are uh, you familiar with this, Ted? I'm not. I okay, I'll tell these. Ted what idiocracy is. I got a movie film for you, buddy. I feel like it's not a movie we can describe. It's a movie you have to watch. Because yeah. he tried to describe it to me, and I couldn't yeah. conceive it. It's like uh, trying to a New Yorker cartoon. You can't just you can't, you and, can't explain and, it. And you have to, you have, die, you just have to watch end. it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus again. <laughs> no, for real, it's Ted? It's not this. Oh, it's yeah. not this. Uh, Ted, you know Mike Judge? Uh, Mike Judge, yes, yes. Office yeah. Space, King of the Hill. Yeah, yeah. This is his film. Oh, yeah. And he says, he goes, when I made this, like, you know, it was social commentary, but he, I did not expect what, it to become real. Will Ted be able to hear this uh, now? Mike Judge, unrelated. Let's, uh, um, this is, I believe, the opening scene. This yeah. is good enough, yeah. Uh, unrelated to Mike Lawyer, by the way. We began. Oh. Human evolution <laughs> was at a turning point. Natural selection. Is it a comedy? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The strongest, the smartest, the fastest reproduced in greater numbers than the rest. A process which had once favored the noblest traits of man now began to favor different Hello. traits. Most science fiction of the day predicted a future that was more civilized and more intelligent. But as time went on, hey, things Zeus. seemed to be heading in the opposite direction, a dumbing down. How did this happen? Evolution does not necessarily reward intelligence. With no natural predators to thin the herd, it began to simply reward those who reproduced the most and left the intelligent to become an endangered species. What a voice on that guy. I love him. Yeah. Having kids is such an important decision. We're just waiting for the right time. It's not something you want to rush into, obviously. No way. Oh shit, I'm pregnant again! Shit! I got too many damn kids! I thought you was on the pill or some shit! Hell no! Must have been thinking of Brittany. Brittany? No, you can't. There's no way we could have a child now. Mm -hmm. Not with the market the way it is, no. Oh, God, no. That just wouldn't make any sense. Come on over here, bitch! <laughs> we don't care about you! Yeah, well, there must be something he likes over here. Don't mean nothing to me, baby. <laughs> it wasn't me! It wasn't me! 
Well, we finally decided to have children, and I'm not pointing fingers, but it's not going well. <laughs> and this is helping. So. I'm just saying that before I have in vitro, maybe you should be willing it's to... It's always me, right? Well, it's not my sperm count. <laughs> yeah! yeah! I'm gonna fuck all of you! <laughs> <laughs> Cleavon is lucky to be alive. He attempted to jump a jet ski from a lake into a swimming pool and impaled his crotch on an iron gate. Ooh, but thanks to recent advances in stem cell research and the fine work of doctors Krensky and Altshuler, Cleavon should regain full reproductive function. Your hands off my junk! Unfortunately, Trevor passed away from a heart attack while masturbating to produce sperm for artificial insemination. But I have some eggs frozen. So just as soon as the right guy comes along, you know. And so it went for generations. Although few, if any, seem to notice. This is it. the 21st century, oh. the army began a top secret a experiment. Meet Joe Bowers, our first subject for the human hibernation experiment. As you know, this is highly classified. However, if successful, we believe humans can be stored indefinitely. However, the trial run was prone to human error. See you in a year. And Joe slept slightly longer than expected. <laughs> Half a millennium, to be exact. From Mike Judge, creator of Office Space and Beavis and Butthead. Oh my God! If you were the smartest person in the world... This one's in your mouth. This one goes in your butt. Hang on a second. This one, this one goes in your mouth. <laughs> and we're stuck with the dumbest people in history. If you have one bucket that holds two gallons, and another bucket that holds five gallons, how many buckets do you have? Two? What would you do? Excuse me, um, I'm actually supposed to be getting out of prison. You're in the wrong line. <laughs> I'm the I smartest love that guy scene. in the world. <laughs> Says who? The IQ test you took in prison. You got the highest score in history. You've been smarter than President Camacho. <laughs> President Camacho. The president of the world. That's the president. <laughs> we got this guy. He's gonna fix everything. So you smart, huh? The ordinary will be considered extraordinary. I thought you here would be bigger. Idiocracy. For the smartest guy in the world, you're pretty dumb sometimes. It, it, wow. Is that it, it's same, amazing. Is that the same movie as yeah. the one with the uh, yeah, yeah, Cleveland? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a, it's an amazing film, Ted. Yeah. you got to watch it yeah, when you get a chance. Yeah, it looks yeah. great. Idiocracy is, and you see so many parallels. And you know what I noticed in that movie? Uh, uh, something that they, they do uh, with a lot of movies and it became real is advertising. So mm. all of the like the total recall, you'd see the cities, everything would be advertised, and now it's everywhere. Dude, soccer games in Europe, during the game, there's ads running because there's no stoppage in between. Yeah. There's right, no, right, it's right. not like a, a stop of play in football yeah. and hockey. So there's ads everywhere, everywhere, and the same thing in the movie. Everyone is sponsored by a cheeseburger. Like product yeah. placement? Yeah, everywhere, yeah. and they do it on purpose. To and that's really what, what it became, everyone's mm. NASCAR. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta watch that. You gotta love it. Dude, you're gonna movie? enjoy it. An hour and a half. No, no. How old is it? Oh, oh six. When it came out in 06. Really? Yeah. yeah. Where was I? You thought it wasn't gonna be good, probably. Because yeah. when I first saw like uh, the cover, I was like, "This looks stupid." Yeah. And then when I actually watched it, I was like, "Oh, what a smart fucking movie." It built a, a following in the Cult. last few years. Yeah. Yeah. Because really. yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so it. accurate. Um, I watched it and I enjoyed it. All right. Um, uh, yeah, well, we were on. Uh, we, yeah, okay. Number no. dos, yes. Okay. Don, yeah. Don, don't vary, don't vary, Guida. All right, you're going to take over on this one. Uh, Number two, the cable guy. Okay, do you remember this uh, uh, Jim Carrey, Matthew Broderick, uh, Ben <laughs> Again, Stiller I know, written no, movie? I but didn't see it. 1996. Um, what it predicted uh, the home shopping and online gaming. Um, the cable guy says uh, soon every American. Uh, home will integrate every American home will integrate the television the phone and the computer and you'll be able to visit the Louvre on one channel or watch female wrestling on another and uh, you can do your shopping at home or play Mortal Kombat with a friend from Vietnam so it predicted you know the remote gaming and all that stuff back then and um, Vietnam oh, yeah, yeah um, makes me want to watch it the cable guy was—it wasn't that good of a movie. No. It was, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was, uh, yeah. It was, um, 
medieval times. <laughs> that's that was that scene. That's all I remember. That's where that I learned about medieval times. Yeah, that's where I learned from. Me. Yeah, I didn't know it was a real place. Yeah. Anyway, or yeah. Real time. Uh, looking, uh, no, maybe times, maybe the restaurant. cable guy shouldn't have been. Uh, there was oh. others that we. Um, what kind uh, of restaurant? Uh, you uh, eat, and in front of you, there's like mud and people on horses. Oh, is that all the geeks? Where the geeks yeah. go to feel like they're like in the olden times? They don't drink beer. Like they, drink, the game. they drink mead. Mead, mead, mead. Oh. mead yeah. And mead, mead, I heard, is disgusting. And you eat yeah. giant turkey legs, like. Yeah, yeah, there's no utensils, right? No, yeah. but that's a whole thing. Hands. That's a whole thing. Th 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 yeah. You want to know why turkey is called turkey? Why? Are you curious about that? Uh, actually, I am. Yeah. yeah. Uh, turkey, the bird, is actually native. To the Americas. It's not in Turkey. Doesn't have turkeys. They're not native to Turkey. Yeah. Gobble the, gobble. The reason why it's called that is because uh, when the first Huats were here and they started making trades with Europe, all that, the the Muslims still controlled a lot of the trade routes. One of them was Turkish. Controlled a lot of that Turks, shit. Yeah. Uh, it was the, called the Levant Corporation. So Ezra were, Levant. Well, not related. But they were the ones that were bringing it down across and into Europe through Turkey. And they were the Turkey people. Oh, because they're bringing Turkey, Turkey, Turkey people. And that's how it became known as a Turkey. Oh. I love little things like that. Yeah. There's wild <laughs> turkeys on the West Island. And, so it is and related to Turkey. St. Lazar. You can see them. You, you're driving down the fucking uh, Highway 40 through, uh, like, Hudson and that area. You'll see yeah. wild turkeys on the side of Get the Get the fuck out of here. I'm, I kid you not. <laughs> Canada. I, I've seen those in uh, in Florida, too. Where they're just in the middle of the street, wild <laughs> Yeah, I it's saw a, one on at Allen's Hill in Bay Durfe one time. I was over in Allen's Hill walking up and down for my exercise. A fucking wild turkey went by. There's something insane about that. Did it attack you? No. No. No, but Are I, gave they him a, I gave him a wide berth, though. Yeah, they can be. Yeah, really? and they'll kick your ass, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah turkeys are crazy, bro. Yeah. Geese are fucking... Ooh, yeah, they Nazi too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nazis. Fucking what? Geese. They're Nazis, the geese. They are? Yeah. Oh, they goose step. Yeah, that's where it comes from. Goose stepping, goose stepping. Uh, uh, he doesn't know. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't yeah, know what goose stepping. Is. Actually, yeah. I don't. I just said. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what is goose stepping? I saw him on his face. Froze. You know the way the German the Germans used to march dum, and they kick their legs dum, way up as they were marching. Wait, yeah, uh, goose, goose actually stepping. walk yeah. like that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, well, not okay. that exaggerated, but that's why it's called the goose step, the Nazi goose step. Ah. Oh. Yeah, when you have to explain the joke, it's not as funny. Yeah, yeah this exactly. joke is funny because, because yeah, the, yeah. the joke translator. <laughs> yeah. um, um, if the plural of goose is geese, why isn't the plural of moose meese? I don't know. It's a good question. Mm. English language. And English they're both Canadian too. So yeah, you would think yeah. that maybe there would be some consistency there. <laughs> I remember seeing something on uh, something online about somebody who was learning about the English. He was learning the English language and he was very frustrated. And he had all these references like, what the fuck, you know, the English language. And then <laughs> wait until he finds out about the word waterfall. <laughs> and he goes, God damn it, I'm so fucking angry right now. <laughs> yeah. Not wait, why is that a fucked up word? Yeah, waterfall. Just because somebody saw waterfall and they're like, we'll call this a waterfall. Uh, Waterfalling, just the waterfall. Waterfall. Uh, well, the, someone had said they described English as three languages in a trench coat pretending to be one language, something like that. <laughs> uh, oh. It apparently is the most difficult language to learn for people who don't speak it. To learn it accurately, a, but it's yeah. so easy. Yeah. It's, yeah. <clears throat> it's easy for us, man. It's Hold on. Maybe the e easiest language to speak is English. Is English? But I to learn know. grammatically, yeah, no, maybe it's, one of it's, the Apparently, hardest. it's very difficult because we have so yeah. many exceptions. Yeah, yeah, but French is also fucked up. I think the reason but why it's, it's actually difficult is because actually other languages are actually much more difficult to learn that English is so simplified that it just doesn't make sense for them. Like Spanish has all these accents and everything and all this shit. So a Spaniard learning English is like, yeah, where's the accents? accents? Where's this? Where's you that? You fucking guys are all trilingual, and I speak mm. one language. Yeah. I feel like the village idiot sitting here. <laughs> like no, I speak, shouldn't. <laughs> I'm fluent in one language, and I can dabble a little bit in French. You guys are fluent in three languages. I will tell you something. Yeah, I, Their IQs combined <laughs> do not reach yours, so well, don't, yeah, don't feel that. It's a matter of circumstance, but I, we've talked about this before. That's always impressed the well, shit out of me. Since I moved yeah, to Montreal... Yeah. People from, uh, I was married to an Italian, to a St. Mm. Michelle Italian. I still have clothes that mm. smell like the Miron Quarry. <laughs> Miron Quarry. And, and, and it just always impressed the shit out of me how her and her friends would switch seamlessly from one language to the next, depending on who they were having a conversation with. You, and when that, I want to top that for a second, because 
I have friends that are Italians, married Greeks. Mm -hmm. The little kids understand Greek and Italian. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, could you imagine? Well, wow. Yeah. Well, again, it's circumstance, right? Yeah. Like if you're introduced into it, my my daughter is trilingual mm. because because Nana and Nona were daycare, right? Mm -hmm. And they lived in a French neighborhood, and she went to French school. And grew up in an English household, so she got all three, like, without even trying. I don't speak French the way I speak Italian, though. Uh, the more languages you know, the better, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, that's 100%. not an opinion thing. That's like saying, the more money you have, the easier life's going to be. Yeah, we know. <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> but all right, yeah. what's your number one? Right. Yeah. Future predicting movie. This, sir. Uh, number one. 2001 A Space Odyssey. Okay, we know that's the. Uh, I think Stanley the biggest Kubrick expert and... on this is Pantelis himself. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, why do we have to talk about this again? Well, did it really. It, it predicted the TV, it predicted our obsession with the cell phones. The whole thing was the uh, monolith. And then in the movie, it would keep coming back. It was that fucking... Um, Looks like an iPad. It was that iPad base that was everywhere. And he would see it everywhere, and it would connect to everything. He'd look at it. He'd go through it. He'd be a baby. He'd be in space. He'd be... One thing, one monolithic rectangle that would connect you to everything, and it was the be-all, end-all of the universe. We so didn't is know. that the internet? It's your phone, your, it's which your is phone. to connect to the internet. Yeah. You have yeah. it. Yeah. You, you could be Was alone. Was that the movie with the uh, computer named Hal? Yes. Yeah, that's our uh, yeah. AI. That's our AI. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, and All you right. let AI take over, it might yeah. make a decision that you're not uh, keen on, which is what it, Hal was doing. Yeah. It also, yeah, the um, uh, space station. That's, yeah. Uh, when you, yeah. Yeah. That uh, it's uh, it's eerie. The eerie. scene, the scene where the AI is reading their lips. God damn, that was creepy. Yeah. Um, I want to show him the monolith in the movie. Uh, Am I the only one who's alive when that movie came out? I would have been nine years old. I was negative. When did 10. it come out? Yeah. 1968. You were born in 78. Yeah, yeah. For a movie made in 1968, it's a it's a nice movie. Like visually. Yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. it. That's well, why that's it's, it's, it's on. It's a brilliant filmmaker. It's on number one on a lot of people's lists. Um, it's 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 God damn, you were born in the 50s. 59. Yeah. So my life has God spanned damn. 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Aughts, teens, like I've been alive in parts of eight decades. How fucking crazy is yeah. that? Yeah, and, and it goes by quicker and quicker. Time. Yeah, damn. So you must be like two hundred, pretty much. Yeah. Have you ever? Yeah. Um, have I you have ever... no idea where I am at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you see, look at that beside. Look at him laying in bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's basically you in bed with your cell phone. Yeah. Is he masturbating? Yeah, exactly. It's crazy that he predicted all the predicted. Pre predicted. Well, I don't know if he predicted. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did you ever the, see A Clockwork Orange? That yes, was another Kubrick yeah. movie. That yeah. was another one that... Uh, oh, is that the one with the psychopath? Yeah. yeah. That uh, one, I watched that when it came out, and I would have been like 13. Maybe that yeah. one went right oh, over my head. A little, a little early that. for you to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But... Um, Apparently, it has nothing to do with oranges. No, not no, a thing. Not one my tangerine. favorite Kubrick movie is... Um, uh, the Moon Landing? Jacket. Oh, Full Metal. Uh, what, what's that? The Moon Landing. <laughs> <That's> his, <laughs> most popular of uh, his films. Didn't he Is say? It? Didn't didn't he get drunk one time and he was yelling at everyone? I filmed the Moon Landing. No, that's no, I've that's never heard that. Oh, but so so I read something what, dumb online. Uh, have you seen Full Metal Jacket? No, that was amazing. You've uh, never seen Full no, Metal okay, Jacket. The the, oh. the drill sergeant. Uh, what was his name? Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. Okay, the actor though. The uh, actor was F. Uh, F. Lee Ermey. Or okay, so F. Lee Ermey. Yeah. This guy was hired to train the actor to play a drill sergeant. He was. What if I don't want to F. Lee Ermey? Oh, I'm sorry. What I'm saying is, this guy, Kubrick said, uh, you know what? Fuck this actor. Get rid of this actor. Fire the actor. I want that that that. Drill sergeant teacher to be the, the drill sergeant. But he was yeah. also an actor. He was an actor and a, just former, ha, yeah. a former Marine who was an actor. Nominated for an Oscar. Can we, can we watch on YouTube the opening scene to that? If they have it, Where let's he, check it yeah, out. You just, yeah, just go to YouTube. Opening. It's a metal heck of a movie, man. Scene. Really? Yeah. 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 Vincent yeah. D'Onofrio. It it's a military yeah, Vietnam shit, no? War. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's about guys who go to boot camp and uh, and train, and then they go to Vietnam. And the first, the first half of the movie is funny as fuck, and then there's a turning point. Mm. Uh, and, Where it gets and it really gets dark. really dark, yeah. Oh, no, no, we're like... <laughs> yeah. It turns at the end of boot camp, and then they go to Vietnam. Is that just, with... Uh, what's his face? Um, 
Matthew Modine. Matthew in it. Modine. Uh, and, uh, Vincent. Uh, Donofrio. I'm thinking, and of another, I'm thinking of another movie with uh, no, uh, Marlon Brando. No, that was Apocalypse Now. You're thinking now. of Apocalypse okay, yeah, Now okay, and Then. Okay. I get them confused. Yeah. This is Full Metal Shakat. So the opening scene. I watched this movie with my dad. Did you? Yeah. There, there, there is. is. That looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. These are really bad barbers. Yeah, because the, yeah, they're uh, not trying to do a fade. I, I know, I know. Just yeah. fucking around. There's not uh, no no style points. I don't think at uh, in Paris Island. I think that's where they are. Paris Island Marine Marine Boot Camp. I like how they actually shaved their heads for this movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, you had to commit to the bit. Big time. I mean, the black guys didn't give them a choice. It was a different time back then. <laughs> <laughs> I, the sadness in their eyes looks genuine. Yeah. Yeah, because they're going to the fucking NAM, man. Uh, and yeah. they don't know if they're, there's cowboy. They don't know if they're This guy, back. you know what? He, they did him a favor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going for the Hulk Hogan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't realize the haircut scene was this long. Yeah, yeah. damn. Can, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you f- this is literally the opening scene. Yeah, no that's way. The, that's the opening oh, scene. That's, of the oh, I, I, I need, we need the opening drill sergeant oh, that, scene. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. There that's he was. it. That, that was, was the it. one. That was it. Yeah. I think. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me over the years. Oh, uh, I hate happens. commentaries on commentaries. <sighs> oh, we don't want. We don't want. Yeah, that's the scene we're, we're we're looking at. Uh, yeah. Well, let's watch it with this guy since he has it. No, sir, sir. I said it, sir. Well, no shit. What have we got here? A fucking comedian, private joker. I admire your honesty. Hell, I like it. And that stuff. Oh, it, that, you know, no, that's uh, the best thing. You gotta see this. You gotta see this. Well, I've never seen it with someone's mouth and off. I'm very upset. Yeah, I'm very upset. Because it's really, it's really something. Buddy's, Buddy's ruining it with his fucking commentary. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have. I know it's. No. I've I've seen. I've watched it on YouTube. It's gotta Hold be there. On. The I think Virgin maybe put, Mary put, scene. put the put the actor's name. Well, no. If you just do Full oh. Metal Jacket, Drill oh. Sergeant, not Full Metal Jackie. Did the, didn't they meme the scene heavily or something? Oh, well, every is. classic movie scene. Is Here we got it. Ever. Yeah, just drill, Full Metal Jacket, oh, Drill Sergeant. There it is, right there. Now you see, this is all the. Uh, Yo, sir, let me see your war face. You got a war face? Ah! That's a war face! Now let me see your war face! Ah! You don't scare me! We're coming! Sir, yes, sir! If you go, if you, if oh, you just... trailer. Oh, mashup. Yeah. It's a mashup. Sorry. Just just do a uh, full metal jacket drill sergeant, and the first thing that comes up is that is the opening <laughs> drill sergeant scene. There you go. That should be it right there. Right there. Yeah. Hopefully. I am going to refer yeah. to your senior drill instructor from now on you will speak only when spoken to and the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be sir do you maggots understand that sir, sir yes sir bullshit i can't hear you sound off like you got a pair sir yes sir if you ladies leave my island if you survive recruit training you will be a weapon you will be a minister of death praying for war but until that day you are puked you are the lowest form of life on earth. You are not even human fucking beings. You are nothing but unorganized, grabastic pieces of amphibian shit. Because I am hard, you will not like me. But the more you hate me, the more you will learn. I am hard, but I am fair. There is no racial bigotry here. I do not look down on niggers, kites, wops, or greasers. Here you are all equally worthless. And my orders are to weed out all non- That's funny. <laughs> Wait, at least there's going support. after them individually. Do you maggots understand that? Sir, yes, sir. Bullshit, I can't hear you. Sir, yes, sir. What's your name, scumbag? Sir, Private Brown, sir. Bullshit, from now on, you're Private Snowball. Do you like that name? Sir, yes, sir. Well, there's one thing that you won't like, <laughs> Private Snowball. They don't serve fried chicken and watermelon on a daily basis in my mess hall. Oh, yes, sir. Is that you, John Wayne? Is this me? Who said that? Who the fuck said that? Who's the slimy little communist shit twinkle toad cocksucker down here <laughs> who just signed his own death warrant? Yeah, he's got established dominance right Nobody off the bat. Yeah. The very, very fucking, fucking godmother. I'm fucking standing. I will PT you all until you fucking die. 
I'll beat to you until your assholes are sucking buttermilk. Was it you, you scroungy little fuck, huh? <laughs> sir, no, sir. You little piece of shit, you look like a fucking worm. I'll bet it was you. Sir, no, sir. Sir, I said it, sir. Well, no shit. What have we got here? A fucking comedian, private joker. I admire your honesty. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. <laughs> <laughs> you little scumbag. I got your name. I got your ass. You will not laugh. You will not cry. You will learn by the numbers. I will teach you. Now get up. Get on your feet. You had Ooh. best unfuck yourself or I will unscrew your head and shit down your neck. Sir, yes, sir. Private Joker, why did you join my beloved cult? Sir, to kill, sir. So you're a killer. Sir, yes, sir. Let me see your war face. Sir, you got a war face? Ah, that's a war face. Now let me see your war face. Ah! Bullshit, you didn't convince me. Let me see your real war face. Ah! You <laughs> don't scare me. Work on it. Sir, yes, sir. What's your excuse? Sir, excuse for what, sir? I'm asking the fucking questions here, private. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Well, thank you very much. Can I be in charge for a while? Sir, yes, sir. Are you shook up? Are you nervous? Sir, I am, sir. Do I make you nervous? Sir. Sir, what? Are you about to call me an asshole? Uh -huh. Sir, no, sir. How tall are you, private? Sir, five foot nine, sir. Five foot nine. I didn't know they stacked shit that high. Yeah, I remember that line. <laughs> <laughs> you can on me somewhere, huh? It's good, but that's that's a, you that's should a, check it a, out. <laughs> you, what you're watching watch is a, an Oscar-nominated performance. I, I want to I watch How this. How much of that was, that was uh, really improv? Well done. That you know? was, I don't know. There was almost no know. cuts in that. No, no, it was. It, it's there, was well there was like three cuts. That's impressive. It's yeah. true they, from the it, actor. With he walked it, around it, yeah. and there followed was no, him, and there was yeah. maybe I counted one, two, I think max three cuts. I bet you that was uh, um, a lot of improv too. That he, uh, Kubrick said perfect. One hundred percent improv yeah, from experience. Yeah. What's your half, Poseidon? Yeah, uh, you're really gonna appreciate this one. I doubt it. And the half. The Pantelis Comedy Network has predicted the future. Wah, wah, wah. Many times, actually. How many times do we have conversations on the morning show prior to Ted being on where we spoke about stuff and you were like, watch, this is going to happen? Or I said, mm, I'm pretty sure it's going to go this way. And then it happens. And <laughs> we're like, we were, what? We were, we were more correct on the vax, on the vax pass, mm -hmm. on COVID than the actual news was. Yeah, but not just on that, but even like in general new stuff. Yeah. I'm pretty good at like I remember you predicted some something with the bu uh, with a bus if I remember or like uh, oh no the the guy that got beat up here in Park X you predicted oh, yeah, some yeah yeah I predicted it like, on the morning it, while it was live happening when the police guy uh, got yeah. his gun stolen I predicted well, <laughs> that that morning and then it turned out two days later I was right and it yeah. really he was it was <laughs> on Pantelis live we predicted a lot of stuff uh, yeah. I've learned the, how the news cycle works I know yeah. when they're bullshitting us wow yeah. Most of the time, Idiocracy. sometimes they get they get one over on me. Yeah. So uh, Guido got a good haircut, everybody. Yeah, yeah. That was, <laughs> thank you. I That's like such it. a. I, I don't was, know what the fuck to say. I was sentence. going for the Sean Connery Hunt for Red October look. That uh, there's a. Um, yeah, that actually, you've got that going on. There's some, there's some, uh, the most interesting man in the world. That's ah, what you're um, yeah. I don't always yeah. drink beer, but uh, I've got the. He can speak French in Russian. That was one of them I liked. Oh, yeah? No, no, they say in the commercials. Yeah? He can speak French in Russian. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> That's it, because he's the most interesting man yeah. in the world. Oh. Good I've one. got the uh, depressed lesbian going on. Your haircut, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Depressed lesbian? Yeah. yeah. I thought that was going to get a chuckle, but clearly oh, not. Okay. So. Oh, not no, it's because we could see it yeah. too much. <laughs> yeah. Also, you don't, have a, you don't have a big enough mustache. <laughs> All right. Anything we got to plug, guys, before you uh, bounce? Pantelliscomedy.com, patreon.com slash Pantelis. I am Poseidon.com. The morning show. Thank Guido, you, Ted Bird. Some lane and uh, the morning show and, uh, yeah. Standing by. Standing Jerry by, yes. Yeah, standing by. Yeah. Yeah. What's your Twitter? You're, you're very funny uh, on Twitter. At Man of Bird. Yes. At yeah. Man of Bird. Yeah. 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 Tweets be sure, been be sure to complain to the radio station I work for so they'll fire me. If you complain about that. radio station, for all you uh, out there, it's Shom FM. No, it's not. <laughs> if you are, if you, if you, if you are upset with anything Ted Bird said, <laughs> please send your complaints to Shom FM. And, and I'll say we fired him years yeah. ago. If you're if you're mad at anything Poseidon said, please send your uh, complaints to the Liberal Party of Canada <laughs> <laughs> and tell Justice Trudeau 
that you're upset. Or you can write down your complaints on a piece of paper and shove them up your ass. Intellectuals out. Peace.